Okay, so the other thing is, parents question, are the children suffering because I'm going to university and I'm not spending as much time with them anymore? Really? Are they really suffering that much? If you're with them in the evenings, if you have five days out of their school week, two of them, you're in university while they're in school, and then the rest of them, you're actually at home. Okay, if you have a job, that's a little bit different. That means you might have to change days at your job. That means that you might go have to go to your job after, you know, you finish university, they're still in school. Okay, there's some things that are hard and you're gonna have to deal with them along the way. But it's three years. It's not like it's all of your life. And at the end of it, you could have a fantastic career where you get to choose when you work and where you work, and then you can make up for that time. You know, kids nowadays have got so much school work going on and so many after school clubs. They don't even realize, where's mommy, where's daddy? They, they don't at all because their lives are full. And I think if you can make a balance between that and set times that you're going to be with your children because you've got free time because you're not in a traditional university then the balance sort of works out and my kids always ask me about how my day was in university and what I'm learning and I think they like the fact that I'm there and I can sit down with them and chat about what their teacher said today, what my teacher said today. So it brings a whole different conversation and education just becomes this massive, exciting thing in a house. Oh, it should anyway, but it becomes a little bit better when, when you're back in it. So I'm talking about the perspective of me, 34 years old with four children. Um, but I've got to go back to younger parents you know, you may be teen parent or you may be in your 20s and maybe you have A-levels and you didn't get to use them. And you're thinking, oh, my kids are small. Um, you know, do I really wanna to go to university and miss stages of their lives? Well, I can see where you would be coming from, especially if it was a traditional university where you're there five days a week. Arden's different as I said it's two days a week on campus and that's your commitment um young children young parents I don't know maybe maybe it is harder I can't speak from that that side but it's beneficial to you you have a longer career obviously than I would and you know you can work up the ladder you can do whatever you want so taken away from my age, I'm 34, I'm not old. I'm not young, young, but I'm not old. Uh, when I graduate, I'll still have possibly a 35 year career ahead of me in law. So I'm speaking on a level to any age parent because we are in that little club of parents. Um, everything is achievable, everything you can balance. Do you know, there's, there's nothing that you can't do. Do you know, getting an education, it's going and learning and putting time into it, investing in your future, just like you invest in your children's futures. So what I say is don't be scared to make that leap. Just if you've got a passion to do something and you want it, just get into it, just apply yourself and really focus on it. And as I said, it's three years. It's not all of your life. It's three years learning. And you know, the benefits after it are definitely gonna outweigh whatever position you may be in now. You know, you may be working, you may be earning money, and you think, you know, if, if you wanna give it your all, you're gonna have to quit your job, uh, then you're gonna be living off student finance. Well, yeah, that that is something that you'll have to think about yourself. Um, but there, there is lots of help out there. There's also a site called Turn To Us. So on that site, you can apply for grants from different charities, local community um, charities, everything, and they can actually help you with a little bit more funding. Um, I also said earlier, if you're not entitled to the government childcare scheme, there is childcare funding through student finance, which you don't have to repay. So, do you know, that's a little foot in already. That's got to be a little bit of a weight off your mind. 
that the finances are available, that you don't have to pay that back, that if you're putting your child into a nursery because they're not old enough to go to government funded or they're not old enough to go to school, they're going to be learning there as well. And it is daunting putting your children into nurseries, but you know, at some stage they have to go into the education system. So putting them in a little bit earlier will only benefit you. Um, someone else is taking a little bit of the burden off you. Um, they're able to learn new things and then you get the time to yourself. So you're able to study and you're able to read books, anything that you need to do that's gonna be beneficial to your degree. Maybe you can go and get some work experience somewhere, um, healthcare management, doing law, anything. You can get little work placements while your child's in nursery. So it's all helping you. And as I said, three years, it's not that long. So now I wanna do a little shout out to anyone that's a single parent, male or female. I'm in that position. So there's loads of hurdles that we all have to face every single day. Not just single parents. Do you know, you may be in a relationship where someone's working, someone's not working. Um, everything's achievable. But to single parents, yeah, it may be a little bit harder for us. We have to do a lot more balancing uh, <laughs> because everything, you know, everything's dependable on us. But let me tell you now, it's achievable. You can do it. I do it and I've got four and I love it. I love every single minute of university. I love getting up in the morning, getting the kids off to school, breakfast clubs and getting out and going. It can be done.